thank you all very much. Um, one of the joys of Southlands College um, is the community of people that surrounds it, people who are present with us every day, those who, who join us occasionally, um, those who were present with us every day. Um, we have a number of fellows in the room, fellows of Southlands College. They are people who have in some way contributed to the life of the college um, in a really special way. Some of them continue to be with us in, in one form or another. Others are, are far flung around the country or the globe, in fact, but come back for special occasions like this. As part of our 150th program, we're making a special effort um, to breathe new life into our fellowship program at Southlands College, to make something more of it, um, to bring our fellows back into the fold um, and to ask them what they can do for us and what we can do for them in a more meaningful way. Um, as part of that, we are also making a series of new fellows this year. Um, we, we made fellows back in February when we marked the exact date um, of our, our opening as a college. And um, Barbara uh, was one of those fellows uh, who's with us today. It's lovely to have you here, Barbara. Um, and uh, this evening, we will make one further fellow. Um, I'd like to invite up Geoffrey Farrar, who's the local superintendent minister in the Methodist Church. Um, in this area. He is also a member of our governing body at Southlands College and just happens to be a doctoral student at the University of Roehampton to announce our next fellowship. Geoffrey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a real privilege to address such a distinguished group of guests tonight. Uh, as I was coming out uh, this afternoon trying to find my best suit, um, my six-year-old son quizzed me and said, what are you doing, Daddy? And I, and, and I said, well, I'm going to an anniversary dinner. What's anniversary? I said, a birthday, I said. We well, said, who's going to be there? And I said, well, the people from the church, and he knows about that, and people from the university and professors, and he knows about professors because there's a professor on octonauts, which is for <laughs> children. And I said, and there'll be a lord there. And he said, what's a lord? And there's a whole answers I'm sure we could all give to that. But we went through a long list of people, lords he might know from museums and history. And so just before I left tonight, uh, I was delighted to hear him say to my partner, Daddy's going to a birthday dinner with Professor Inkling and Admiral Lord Nelson. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, so it's my privilege tonight to, to honour somebody who has seen the world through the eyes of children and uh, devoted so much of her career to children. Jackie Burt Brown worked at the university. <laughs> you have to applaud as loudly again in a moment. <laughs> Jackie Brown worked at the University of Roehampton for nearly 20 years. For the majority of that time, she was a distinguished lecturer in the Department of Social Sciences teaching sociology with a particular interest in the sociology of childhood. She was an active member of Southlands College throughout this period and was at the college during its move from Wimbledon Parkside here to Roehampton Lane. In 2013, after a period leading the university's student services department, Jackie became head of Digby Stewart College the neighbouring sister college to Southlands, founded by the Society of the Sacred Heart. During her time at Digby Stewart, the relationship between our two colleges flourished. A close working relationship led, amongst other things, to a far stronger ecumenical focus for public acts of worship on campus and also the formation of the world's only student chaplaincy house founded in a shared Methodist Roman Catholic identity. The Barrett House community is still led actively by our fo two founding faith groups and their campus chaplains. Jackie served for five years as head of Digby Stewart and continues as governor of the Sacred Heart Primary School opposite us on Roehampton Lane. She has recently renewed her close links with Southlands College, having been appointed as secretary to the Southlands Methodist Trust earlier this year with much to the great relief of the trustees, I may say. <laughs> and so, Jackie, on behalf of the Southlands Methodist Trust, 
in our 150th anniversary year, we are delighted to welcome you as a fellow of Southlands College and to present you with this small token of our appreciation. Thank you. Delighted I am, how utterly delighted and honoured to be made a fellow of Southlands College. It means a great deal to me. I was, as Geoffrey said, I was a member of, of Southlands College for a long time, um, and then the department moved to Digby Stewart College, and I subsequently became the head of Digby Stewart College, which was a fantastic experience. And Sister Lorraine is here uh, tonight, who um, really. I owe a great deal to, and it was through her love and encouragement that um, the work between Digby and Southlands really flourished. I really valued um, the time that I had working alongside Christopher, and it was fully supported by the Society of the Sacred Heart, so I'm very grateful for that. Thank you. Um, and really just to say what a joy it's been, how nice it is to be able to have this in front of our American guests, who I feel utterly devoted to now, you've been here, so, um, yeah, so you've spent so much time together over the last few days, and in front of uh, friends, um, and I nearly said family actually, and that's maybe um, that how, it, how it feels. I'm delighted to be back with the uh, Southlands Methodist Trust, really proud to be secretary, um, I'll try very hard, you'll have to um, you know, put up with not being as good as Harriet I think, but there you are. Um, <laughs> But thank you, and thank you to Christopher, thank you for your friendship and for everything that you do for me. Mm. I'm very grateful. Thank you, everyone.